Hey, welcome back. Glad to see you. I'm Elric here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel where we bring you all the tech all the time. Now, when I was at CES, you guys saw we brought you a product from Swift Tech. That was their new H220. Now, today we're going to look at another one of their kits. This is their H20 320 Elite. Totally complete water-cooled system. Now, a lot of people out there still debate about water cooling. Is it safe? Is it dangerous? Nowadays, it's totally safe. These kits are geared to be very easily used, filled, taken apart, reused. They're just made that way. If you're somebody who's pretty handy with their hands and stuff, you can definitely tackle water cooling your system. Now, Swift Tech products are known to be very quiet and very, very efficient. This particular kit I'm looking at today, it's a triple rad system made to cool off multiple parts so this system can be used to cool your GPU your CPU and whatever now only the CPU block comes in this kit but with the Komodo and other components from Swift Tech you can completely cool all the parts that are inside of your system so with that said let's jump in and let's check out what comes in this box from Swift Tech all right folks now in the Swift Tech box it's pretty simple they don't waste money giving you fancy boxes they pass on the savings by not wasting that kind of money so here you guys can see all the information. I'll have the cameraman just locked down on there. Now, actually, cameraman just pointed out to me, and I guess I'm holding you guys up the non-English version. So for you guys out there who don't speak English here, you guys check this out. So this is for you. Rock on. We support the world, man. Take it tomorrow as a worldly company. All right, spin it around. Here goes the one that I believe is in English. So once again, we'll hold this here so you guys can see that. Everything that comes in the box in English. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we're gonna drop it down now. Get out the old trusty, this is the old army knife. Get that thing out there. Nice, easy click of the blade. A couple of insertions, don't try this at home. I am a doctor. And so there we go. Set that down, we'll open it up. So the kit's all inside of here. It's all nice and well packed. Let's start dissecting it. We'll start off with this by throwing it at the cameraman. And then right off the bat on top, we have the instruction guide. So we work really closely with these guys. Brian Romero is actually one of the guys that we used to have working here. He's gone back and forth before with Mr. Gabe, the owner of the company, and they've made their manuals very, very well written. These things have really been taken apart by enthusiasts and then taken in consideration by the team over at Swift Tech and written so that you guys can completely understand what's going on. Like, you know how you look at manual and you go, oh, what the fuck? What, they didn't even tell me, what do I do with that? You're not gonna have any of those kind of problems with this. Everything is completely detailed out all the way. Even different types of things on installation and everything else. Now, a triple rad isn't going to fit on the top of most cases internally. It's just too big. But I'm not gonna go on and on about this, but basically these instructions are very well written. You'll be able to understand them and do them. So right off the bat, this is a nice brand new product from Swift Tech. It's their PWM fan controller. So basically you can plug all of your fans into this, then plug this in and control all of the fans in the system from just off of this thing. So it's pretty excellent. It works in conjunction with, you know, onboard controllers as well. So nice stuff. Get two things of fluid. Hydra XPM. Hydra XPM. Don't drink this stuff. It won't taste good and you probably won't feel good. So get that out of the way. Here we see the tubing. So when you fill that up, it'll become the color of that, or you can use other stuff. Actually, Swift Tech tells me they're going to sell a bunch of new cables and all kinds of new stuff in this coming year in 2013. So put that down. Here we have the funnel. You're going to need this when you fill up the reservoir and everything. Set that down. All right. All right. Next up, we have the fill port hardware. So you're going to drill your hole or whatever and then put this in. That'll be your fill port alternate bracket mount pack. So they give you all kinds of alternating things on mounting it. Allen wrench. Wonder why they call them Allen wrench, not a Bob or a Pete or, you know, a Joseph or a, or a Jesus wrench. I mean, what, you know, why Allen? Who is Mr. Allen anyways? I wanna know who that guy is. 
All right. Now we're going to come to the really cool parts. All right. Dun, 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 dun. The Apogee Drive 2. You guys have seen this around. This is a very famous product. I'm going to go ahead and pop the cap right here. Just put the box back. Actually, I'll just move this a little bit out of the way. I'm going to set this down. So even the Apogee Drive 2, it has all of its own instruction guide and everything in here, how to mount it, how to do everything else. You will be actually seriously fracking amazed at how easy this installs. Like, I really think that air coolers, as far as just installing this particular part, are way more of a pain in the ass, unless it's the cheap little pop kind. This thing's really easy to use. Pop it out. See the little back plate right there? Go ahead and just pull this stuff out. There's a lot of accessories in here too, so I'll show you all these. This could be a, you know, a whole unboxing video on itself. You've got various different back plates, the mounting tension screws. You can see the spring in there. They mount, give you the tension that actually keeps you know the thing pressured up against your block. Different colored things right here. Now, people a lot of times like, oh, what the heck are those things? And at first, you know what? I didn't even know. But then a friend of mine, Shannon Rob, he modified out the system. So let me go ahead and take this thing out of here. So here is the FG Drive 2. Check it out. Now, right here, you can see this is red, but there's four little screws around here. You remove those four little screws and pop this off. You can put either the green one in or the blue one in to custom match your system. So that's pretty cool stuff. You also do get the, obviously, the thermal compound. See so your mounting right there. Here's the bottom, solid copper base. I'm not gonna remove it, you guys can see what it is. I don't want it to get oxidized. The connectors, BDWM, Molex. So let me just go ahead and set that off to the side. As we go to the last piece of equipment in the box. Let me get the box out here. All right, there's the last piece of the box. I'm trying to move this thing out of the way here. All right. This is our radiator with our fans. Check this out. Go all of our nice white Swift Tech fans. It's kind of in the color scheme of Swift Tech, it's just been the standard black and white design, which really kind of goes with everything. But you see, you get the three fans. And then under there, the actual rad itself. So let me move the rad out. Also, all the mounting screws, by the way. Ching, 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 ching. And then here we go. Here is the rad. Now right here on the end, they have a lot more room in here for liquid. This helps eliminate the air bubbles. Now on some things, you might have to mount it this way. On others, you'll have to mount it this way. The optimal way if you can mount it will be either this way or like this onto a back of a case. If you do it that way, you'll have a lot less time between up to fill the unit up. So. Here's the front of it. Parts here. You can see all the holes right here for mounting. All the fins inside. Now, Swift Tech also has a custom way that they make their radiators. The way that the connectivity is and the way that it is made makes it so it has a much better flow for all the liquid, meaning much better cooling results. So flip it around. Here's the back side. Here's where you're going to fill it. You'll be removing this off right here and then filling the unit. And so that's it. This unit's completely, totally flexible. So there you guys have it. The Swift Tech H20 320 Elite complete system. Now, if you only want to cool just your CPU, this thing's totally good to go. But like I said, if you want to cool your GPU as well, you can get all kinds of parts out there, either aftermarket or from Swift Tech themselves, and build yourself a totally custom water cooled system that cools everything. And with this triple rad and the Apogee Drive 2, you'll be totally solid, good to go. It'll be silent. You will be satisfied. So, with that said, I hope you guys like this video. So, show me the love by hitting that like button me and the people giving the products really appreciate that it shows your guys's interest in the product and makes it so they're more willing
going to give more stuff so you guys can see it. So that's it. Love you guys. See you guys back here on the channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so so you never miss out on any of the action here on Tech of Tomorrow.